Hello and welcome to episode 5 of The Weekly Wolf. I'm Chris and this is The Underdogs. Today I have with me JD Shaw. What up? And Richard Askew. Hi. This week we've got lots to talk about so let's not waste any time and get stuck right in. I've been working all week as usual but I did manage to get my first game review out so go check it out if you've not seen it already. Joe what have you been up to? Well, speaking of your first uh, game review, which was really good, by the way, I'm quite impressed. Um, I also released a comedy video, which is currently making the rounds. And uh, me and you last night, as we were playing COD, kept looking at, well, I, I kept looking at my phone just to see what the view count was. And uh, it's currently like, you are two more views higher than me. And I'm like, God damn it, I'm going to have to reshare that bad boy and give it a boost. <laughs> I just, I've been playing Friday the 13th, and unfortunately, uh, Richard has convinced me to play Fortnite, and uh, truthfully, I'm, I'm having fun with it. I still don't think it's as good as PUBG, because I, I like the slow, methodical PUBG-ness, but Fortnite, it, it, it's, got its, it's got its place. It's pretty good, but I blame Richard for that. <laughs> right, right. On to you, Rich. How, how do you blame me? <laughs> because you're the one that started playing it in the first place, and then you're like, I... oh, it's really good. I was playing it with children because they asked me to play with them. <laughs> and then I said, yeah, it's not too bad. And then you played it. That's not my fault. <laughs> I played it with Izzy. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> like, and then uh, I just, you know, I, it, I like the building mechanics in it. But I, I, it is a bit mental I, sometimes. I've changed my opinion. I, I don't mind it. Yeah. But other than playing Fortnite, I've been playing Search and Destroy. And I fell down a hill. <laughs> so Richard's been in self-isolation that long he's forgot how to go out for a, a, a walk <laughs> yeah and chris has been isolation that long he's forgot how to record <laughs> <laughs> hey you tried doing it and doing this at the same time <laughs> uh, yeah pretty i hurt myself pretty bad but i'm all right this morning so moving on i want to talk about gta 5 and epic games on the 14th of May, Epic Games Store gave away the premium edition of GTA 5 for free for one week only. The premium edition of GTA 5 comes with the Criminal Starter Pack, which includes $1 million of GTA money and around $10 million of in-game currency. So it's well worth it if you don't own GTA or just want to get the uh, currency. I was also intrigued that you got a £10 coupon just for downloading it as well which is pretty awesome. What do you guys think about this? Well, I still haven't managed to claim my 1 million on that thing yet. Like, I literally loaded up the the PC version of the game, started a new multiplayer character, you know, just to get it all done. And I was thinking, I can't, I can't figure out how to claim it. Or maybe I'm just being a moron. But either <laughs> way, you know, I, I literally just claimed it because it was there. You know, I've got it on the PS4 and stuff, but mm. you guys have been telling me to go to the PC for a while. But yeah, I mean, I think it's good. Uh, they're clearly trying to get people on, and at least this time, Epic Games aren't making something exclusive to them, which they've been doing a lot to people's annoyance recently. Uh, what about you, Richard? I just feel sorry for all the dead hookers that are about to be, like, killed. <laughs> <laughs> them hookers, though. Them, them hookers are about to be beaten up. People are going to get like, a lot of cars stolen, you know. I feel sorry for them. Plus, whenever I play GTA, I don't actually care about all the money. I just care about blowing shit up. Yeah, we, we, we figured that out when we're trying to do missions and you're just running around with a rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> we got sneak up. No, I'm going in guns blazers. <laughs> <laughs> I think so many people went to download it that Epic Games crashed for quite a while I was as well. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I clicked on the Epic Games and it was just like, error. It said error code something. I can't remember which what the error code was, 505 or something. Mm. Um, can, but uh, yeah. Just remind me, can you give money in GTA 5? No. no. Uh, I was going to say, well, I play it, but I don't play it to that level. I just play it just to piss around on. And I like okay. doing that whole thing. You know with the jet, when you like you go full speed and then you just jump out and just see what happens to your body? <laughs> so money doesn't really care. I don't really care about money. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't talking... know if people were going to like hand the money over to people and they were going to have this whole like you know currency issue. Mm. No. Okay. 
that would talking break about their, epic uh, uh, like... talking about epic games though they have been putting themselves in the spotlight quite a lot over the last few weeks i've noticed there was like snow runner release that only released on epic games there's now the gta 5 and obviously the fortnite as well they did Borderlands 3 as well, remember? Yeah. That was a uh, epic exclusive for six months or whatever. So the next topic from me is a bit of PS5 news. So this week, the PS5 tech demo was revealed with Unreal Engine 5. They announced and showcased the graphics that were capable of showing as good as real life. So eat your heart out, frames per second chases. <laughs> But yeah, apparently this was done with the Lumin software uh, for the lighting, which is why everything looks incredibly, you know, realistic lighting and stuff like that. Now, people have been mistaken this thinking that this was actually going to be a video game, but it's not. Everything that's made in that is literally a tech demo. It's not part of any game upcoming or coming out in any way, shape or form. Um, I mean, Richard's having a look at it now. Um, did you see this already, Richard? No, I just watched it now. It does look bloody fantastic, mate. <laughs> it's bloody brilliant, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's no, made me. Um, it, it's made me really excited for the PS5, though. Like, and the game capabilities of what's going to be. I'm really you interested see, my, to find out. See, I'm more bothered. I mean, don't get me wrong. The better the graphics, the the, the better fully. But mm. I'm personally more bothered about VR, and I don't have VR yet. But I've been keeping my eye on it, and as soon as they bring out like VR with things for me, like F1, which I'm a big fan of, um, I'll be all over that like a wet flannel, um, mm. you know, to uh, to because I would love to because we've got our wheels, and I would love to put you know um, a, a VR headset on and look to my left and see Richard about to uh, crash into me because I'm in his line. <laughs> Sorry? I just I, I just hope that out. the um, oh, go um on, what you said all over it like a wet flannel. I'm trying to comprehend how does that work? You throw it over something, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope that the, um, the the PS5 has the hard drive to to cope with it because I don't sure think will. one terabyte will cut it. No, not with Call of Duty on the brow. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I swear I'm going to delete Call of Duty soon. It's far too. It's just taking up far too much space. Sick of it. Mm. I know it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> I like the Swifty. I won't mind me saying has got Call of Duty and two other games because that's what we can fit. Yeah, one of them is Minecraft, which is like <laughs> nothing. He's literally got two games on his. Uh, he's got like three games on his hardware. Mental. Okay, so let's move on. The thing that uh, got me um, interested this week was um, the Ubisoft have obviously a game called Rainbow Six Siege, which is a brilliant game. Me and Chris thoroughly enjoy it. I think Richard might like it as well. But um, they're suing Apple and Google because on the Android store, they've uh, there's a, a, a game called, I think it's called Area, is it Area F2? One second called Area F2, and um, it's basically a carbon copy to the way the operators look, to their abilities, to stuff like that. And um, and I think that's, like, really, really bad. But mainly I wanted to bring this up just to let people know and also to uh, see if Chris and Richard wouldn't mind playing that game again soon because I really did enjoy that one. I'd be yeah, well up for it. Mm. It's one of those I games think... in it that you can keep going back to. Yeah, I mean, well, we've been playing COD a lot. And I don't mind COD, don't get me wrong, but I think I, would, I wouldn't mind a change in shooting mechanics a little bit, a little bit of a tactical for it. But hey, I mean, that's just me. These guys are a bit more into COD than I am. So uh, there you go. I'm happy to go play Rainbow Six Siege. We. I don't mind. Well, Although I this... do wonder, does Ubisoft have the money to take on Apple and Google? Well, I think I mean, got you are case. talking about two massive, massive companies. Yeah. Yes, but obviously you could be a pauper and take on a millionaire if it's clear as day that, you know, yeah. this is your property. Um, but yeah, I get where you're coming from. Apple and Google are like, you know, behemoths in the... Yeah, in powerhouses, the aren't they? 
But yeah, but, but something uh, else that I wanted to bring up because I um, I remember when I was about I don't know twelve or thirteen, we drove all the way to France to the PS One with those little screens that could plug into the cigarette lighters. Can you remember those uh, on the PS One? Yeah, I had one of them <laughs> all the way to the south of France and back. I was basically playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two, and uh, they're re-releasing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two remaster, and I am booking for this because let's face it, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Five was a bag of dicks. Uh, this one is going to be awesome because I'm assuming they're going to keep the mechanics. Chris, were you were you into this one, being that you're similar age to myself? I absolutely love the Tony Hawk game, and I didn't even know until you just brought it up that it was coming back, well, so I'll go. definitely be in for that. What about you, Rich? I'm excited. You just told me this literally before we started filming. I'm not well excited for it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do a big, big pop twist again. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's awesome. But yeah, so that, that's my news, as in I wanted to bring Tony Ox to the conversation just to, you know, get everyone involved and uh, the Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah. I, I, I thought that was a good topic. Yeah, going, back to, going back to Tony Hawk though, do you remember when you got uh, the PlayStation 1 and we came around yours and we were playing it on your TV? Oh, yeah. crap, crap graphics, but it was like the best time ever. <laughs> yeah, because I've got a, a, a large TV at 65 inch because I'm an absolute geek. But um, I've also got a PS1, and I've plugged it into the aerial socket. Now, can I just say that the resolution on a PS1 on a 65-inch TV, damn. <laughs> it's like, it's it was hilarious. Ball. But we, we still hammered it. We, yeah. we, got, we got it started. Even but though yeah. your skateboard oh. wheels look like squares. <laughs> <laughs> Flint zones, just moving. Did it mention anything about a multiplayer option? Um... I don't know. Truthfully, I don't know. Um, I'd, I'd have to double check into that. I I'm, I'm sure they'll split screen. Surely mm. they'll they'll just you know revamp it for the times and and give it like an online you know sort of you know mode. Hopefully, I hope. Yeah, because yeah, awesome. you know how we were playing on the same screen. You've only got to do that online, haven't you? Truthfully, even if they didn't, I'd still get it. Because yeah. you can still like uh, split screen it, although during the lockdown, not a big deal. Uh, but <laughs> I mean, I like getting the secret tapes, and I like getting the points and doing the high score combos. I mean, it was just it was just simple fun, and we're kind of missing a bit of simple fun these days with Ubisoft sandboxes of Assassin's Creed, where you have to do everything everywhere all the time. Uh, I'd, <laughs> I'd rather have simple right now. <laughs> so moving on to you, Rich. All right. I will just bring up the fact that today is the last day, if you are a Pokemon fan, to catch a Gigantamax Pikachu. Um, yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yay! Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's good. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about a lot of the Gigantamax Pokemon, just because they're a bit, you know, all over the place. But, I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but Pokemon are very good at community events. That's one thing you can say about them. Is that what your guys' feelings on this is? We appointed you as the Pokemon guy. We don't give a. <laughs> <We're> like... <laughs> this is your job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll go into it then. So you can actually get a Gigantamax Pikachu if you had a Pokemon um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and you got a Gigantamax Eevee if you had Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. But this is an event where when you're going into raids, you have a chance to encounter it, and you can catch a Gigantamax Pikachu without having either of these games so it is a very good event make sure you get yourselves one because it's limited time um yeah i vowed to go out of pokemon until they release properly a like mmo version from kanto all the way till like at least black and white sort of thing like a new world where multiple people can inhabit that world and you know um, I'm out. Cool to see a game well, they're just rehashing the same thing over and over again. I'm not interested anymore, and the Pokemon are looking more and more shit, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm not interested. I, 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 I don't I know. Of... Every region's got shit Pokemon. Every region's got very good Pokemon. I mean, like you say, like black and white. I mean, Garchomp was a fucking amazing. He's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm not denying that they get the odd one, but um, it just feels like I mean, the one and two. You know, so from you know, the original yeah. and then Soul Silver and Hot Gold, they were per Soul Silver and Hot Gold might be the perfect Pokemon game. They they could have stopped there for me, and I'm I'm done. Um, but now I'm just waiting for them to basically. I presume at one point in the probably the far future, when the cocaine bucket's running dry, they're going to make a um, like a place where you get Kanto, Johto, and you can actually 
progress and travel wow. through, yeah, like all of them. Yeah, I hope they do that. I'm just not interested anymore. I'm if done. you watch my uh, sort of video on uh, top five games, the actual way the game looks to how the first Pokemon is, play it just to see the Pokemon. I'm not better graphically. Oh, I don't they look amazing. Yeah, the don't moves mean. look so much better. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. so What's your on? second topic? Then? Well, I have just bought FIFA 20. <laughs> we came out in December, hey. and I'm so looking forward to playing it. Um, I don't play Ultimate Team mode. I just like playing Manage mode. Well, you see, I, I do, but to a level of... Um, I had Well, basically, I, I wasn't interested in FIFA at all for the longest time. But then me and my friends got the beers out. This was years ago. And uh, and we started doing a season together, uh, and you know four players co-op season, and we were playing like one of those cup matches where it goes to extra time and then it goes to penalties, and we were taking it in turns and we were half drunk the whole time anyway. And every time you saved a penalty, we'd be like whoa, and every time you lost, you were like whoa. And I, just, I remember getting really into it, like it was really <laughs> really good. Ever since then, I've I've had a soft swap for FIFA, but not the Ultimate Team. The Ultimate Team can do one; it's just a money grab in EA. Yeah crap yeah. so that i, I don't that play in. the ultimate team because it's about the only game that actually does make me pit right really properly angry because you yeah. can get so much bullshit in fifa it's like done on percentages i'm pretty sure i'm yeah. like you know if you've got a player with certain stats in the box then the percentage yeah. means that he'll score or not i mean that's bullshit that's why you have so much bullshit <laughs> um somebody can shoot from halfway line and fucking score against like you know a gold like Premier League keeper, it's just, how? But yeah, um, that's what I was going to ask. Can you still score from halfway across the other side? Yes, you can yeah. fucking <laughs> score from the halfway line. <laughs> I used to play it with uh, Billy's brother. We used to just you know first each other and take the piss. So we used to play as Australia, and then play as you know I think West Ham because uh, <laughs> we couldn't both be it. And we would literally just do it so we just try and score from each other's boxes. And to be fair, you could do it quite a lot. Well, the, the 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 main problem I had with it was once they made this thing and, you know, people started get buying these, you know, packs to get the best players and whatever, like this pay-to-win rubbish, that is why um, they infected it into the Star Wars, like Battlefront 2 fiasco in 2017. Not just that, but that, they're trying to do it in everything. Ever since that, EA want to ultimate team near enough every game that they release. As in, they just want to stuff it, stuff in some sort of. You can make the best, like. I just, no, I, I, highly, yeah. I don't agree with all the team, and I, I mean, during I think it's FIFA seventeen, eighteen, I, I used to spend money on the um, ultimate teams, and when you spend mm. like thirty quid and you get fuck all, apart from you know more, more contracts than you need, I just thought, well, this is a waste of fucking money. You never get anything decent, and when you do, it's probably the lowest tier of the decent stuff. You probably have to spend about three hundred quid on it before you actually got enough money to get, you know, some of the better players. Yeah. Well, either way, uh, that's, that's. I don't agree with it. I just just bought it for manager mode because I do I do love playing manager mode. I want yeah, them to I, bring football manager onto the PlayStation. <laughs> I just find it hilarious that it's on the Switch and not the PlayStation. I know. How the hell does that work? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. yeah right. So I went off on a rant there. It's okay. <laughs> So moving on, we've been hanging out with each other now for a good few years and I know that at some point one of us has asked the other to join us in a game that we don't actually like. So my question to you guys is one game over the years that you've purchased just to hang out but you've absolutely hated and regretted it ever since and I've got to say that mine going first is PUBG. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah but you you waited for a year to I tell did. us that you didn't like that game we we thought that you liked that game i just <laughs> wanted no to idea. make sure i just wanted to make sure <laughs> what a year <laughs> probably over that year i had about six games <laughs> <laughs> but uh i can i can can i tell you richards i can I'll, I'll tell it and richard can tell me if i'm right farming simulator 2019 <laughs> Yep, <laughs> and that's free this month as well, which I find hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rich is spies to me out. Uh, <laughs> he, he seems... Bullshit. 
you see, my most hated game wasn't with you guys. Um, a friend of mine was like, get seven days to die, get seven days to die. And this was when it first came out. It was like 30 quid. And, and I bought it. And I was just like, this game is awful. Like, the graphics are terrible. I don't find the gameplay fun. It is just awful. And I bought it digitally. So, no, no refunds for me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that bugged me. Carmen Simulator, I think. Did I buy for 50 quid? Don't it wasn't that much, I don't think. No, because I remember, because I, I was at work, and I was on my lunch break, and I was playing Sky, Bet, uh, Sky Vegas, and I won 30 quid. I thought, ah, oh, I won 30 quid. That means Farm Simulator is only going to cost me 20. So even yeah, though I won... 20 quid. So even though I put five in the book, uh, five in ga- and gambled a <laughs> fiver and won this money, I still paid 25 quid technically for that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that you won something like a week or so after you decided you didn't like Farming Simulator and you were like, oh, that mitigates the damage now or something. I'm, yeah, I'm sure you... you I did. I then did. won like 40 quid later on, but I still I, spent 50 quid. I just think you didn't give it long simulator. enough. You should have played it for a year and then made your opinion at the end. <laughs> I just remembered we forgot to post uh, or record the winner of last week. No, you yes, chickened you out, did. remember? I said, yeah, oh, you're did. coming to play this, Richard? And you was like, no, I don't want to do it. Can we just say that we draw or that I won? Bullshit. Yeah, this is what, this is what I heard. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you, you said that, like, you know, Chris would probably win, so you're just going to leave it, and I that way you can say it was a draw. I, was, I am overconfident in this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty sure you said you'd draw. I'm pretty sure well, you said... All right, when, if you say when you so, find yeah. your balls, <laughs> When you find your balls, let me know and we'll get on with it. Wait, we're recording right now, yeah? Why don't yep. we just do it right now? <laughs> because we're recording on. this. Well, I've got How many things thing. do you oh, want me to do? You've got your stream going. Let's just, just stick it on now, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> after this, you're on. Oh, well, because every next week goes, yeah, let your chicken out straight after recording, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, no, after this, you're on. <laughs> on. Well, if you do chicken out, I will tell them again next week. No, oh, that's exactly <laughs> what's going to happen. <laughs> 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 do you know what I might do? I might just stream me playing Farming Simulator and just show all the pain and anguish I've got going on. <laughs> <laughs> you really wanted a pig farm, if I remember. Chickens. And then I remember that chickens are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> See, <clears throat> I'd kind of guessed what you guys would pick. However, I thought Joe's would be like Call of Duty. What was the last one? Not the Black Ops series, the one before that, that you absolutely hated. Infinite uh, Warfare. Infinite Warfare. I thought you'd choose that. Because you I've absolutely hated that. Oh, yeah, you just borrowed our profile. Yeah. In fact, I, I barely played that one, you know. I'm, well, I'm you sure that, that was... Then, at least for a year and then gave your opinion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the way to <laughs> no, do but it. I'm, I, no, but I'm sure that that one, it, it, it was really weird because I didn't... What was, Oh, was it, wasn't I playing Titanfall 2 basically that entire year? Didn't I play that more and I barely played COD at all? Yeah, you said you hated COD because you didn't like jumping around and the spacey, spaciness of it. And yet you yeah. like Titanfall. And I remember yeah, we had a big bicker point. about it. Yeah, but it's got a point. The giant mechs that you need to jump on top of, COD doesn't need it. And it also does, it feels crap. On Titanfall, you feel like a ballerina badass, as I say in my uh, uh, one of my videos. I can't remember which one. <laughs> See my previous works. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so moving on, I thought it'd be fun just so everyone could get to know us a little bit better. Yeah. When you're playing your game on your own, and none of us are on chat, and you just want a bit of background music, what's your guilty pleasure that you go to? My personal guilty pleasure is Ellie Goulding. (laughs) What song, though? Any of them. (laughs) Hang on. I'd say the um, one that I most play is uh, Explosions. See, I don't really listen to music unless it's a a particular game. Like, Just Cause, I'll listen to music while I play that. Mm. But normally I actually watch videos while I play video games, as in, like, YouTube videos. And my video of choice is Zero Punctuation. The game reviewer, he's awesome. Um, I've been watching him for... Since That's not a guilty game. pleasure, though. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't listen. All right to then. The, when you. What about when like, you're in your car? 
Okay, if you if you're on about what do I listen to that's that's a guilty pleasure, God, I could string that <laughs> a list. That was the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I thought you meant while you were playing a video game. I was well, like, well I originally really I did, but yeah, let's switch it up. Okay, um, I listen to a few things. Like, I quite like... Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Diane could probably tell me what, what's my guilty pleasures. Oh, one of my favourite songs to play the drums to, um, which is really fun because it's so easy to play, you can put in loads of fills and stuff and it's a good beat, is uh, To Become One by the Spice Girls. Um, th- that is obviously, you know, a very girly song and whatnot. But when you're playing the drums to it, it's just fun because you can like, it's so easy. You can just whack everything in it, and it's just fun. <laughs> so there you go. All right, Richard. Well, when I play games, I've actually got a whole Spotify playlist I made for playing playing games. But if I'm just, you know, you know, songs that you just you shouldn't like, but you do. Uh, one of them's got to be "Hips Don't Lie" by Shakira. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Can I just ask what do we no- what do we all normally listen to? Because in all fairness, just to just to show people the contrast, because I think we already uh, said in a previous stream that we're all quite rocky uh, people rather than I think Richard said we're more 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 rockers, aren't we? Um, yeah. I listen to a lot of Bring Me the Horizon personally. That's probably my favourite band at the minute. I'm a I big fan of uh, that. I'm listening to a lot of Zydewolf. Fair enough. And Danble. Which is more rap, game rap. He's a good YouTuber, yeah. actually. You should check him out. Chris, what do you normally listen to in contrast? Um, usually I listen to dance music, but I also listen to. In my car, I usually listen to grime because I listen to what, what Radio One Extra. So that's like my main channel in the car. I haven't listened to the radio in, of honestly, probably over a decade. Hmm. Except when you hear it like in shops and stuff. But I'm talking like me putting on a music track. Hmm. I haven't put the radio on in a long time. Yeah, so for um, me it'd be grime and then dance on the side. Um, I like anything though, me. Anything that's got a good beat, I'll listen to it. Hmm. So I don't know what... in particular. There's a sort of style of music I like, but I don't really know what it's classed as, probably. Um, if you put on like Zardwolf Gladiator... I'm not sure what it falls under bracket, like brackets wise. I would say rock, but I wouldn't say like heavy rock or like that. I don't know what bracket it falls under. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Do join us in the comments and let us know what you think about the topics that we discussed this week. If you enjoyed it, give us a like, a subscribe, and check out the other videos that we've done as well. Whee! I'm CJT, this is The Underdogs, and thanks for watching. Just a service <laughs> announcement before we go, guys. I did nearly forget to mention it. We are going to switch up the Weekly Wolf and start doing it on a monthly basis. We feel like we'd be able to bring more to the table, as in news that's actually happened throughout the month. Um, So the next video will be in one month's time. Do follow our website, and I'm sure we'll put it up on Facebook, the date that it'll be released. It'll also give us a chance to uh, do a little more, you know, little videos because they seem to be getting um, a lot of of views in comparison. So uh, we can all focus on doing the, you know, between five and ten minute videos that a lot of people like to click through. All right. Do check out our merch store. And that's it from us. See you later. Bye. Hello and welcome to episode five of the Weekly World. This week we've got lots to talk about, so let's not anyway. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> not so easy, is it, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go again. Just go from this week. Yeah. I was about to go from. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> At least you're recording this time, Biatch. <laughs> <laughs> this week we've. <laughs> Oh my god! Stop <laughs> it! Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've been all work. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why didn't I record the first time? It was going so <laughs> much better the first time. <laughs> um, yeah, I fell down a hill. 
I can't remember what we said last time. Fuck that. I fell down a hill. Oh, yeah, you said you forgot how to walk. Well, we don't need to go into this time because you're not recording, so. No, we're going to do it the same. Fair enough. That's good to know. So, moving on. I wanted to talk about GTA 5, um, Epic Games on the 14th of May, um, we're giving away, oh my god. <laughs> so moving on, I want to talk about GTA 5 and Epic Games. On the 14th of May, uh, the Epic Games store decided to soar. The Epic Games Saw? The <laughs> Epic <laughs> A game of Thoris. <laughs> um, and I completely forgot to put the GTA 5 thing on the window. <laughs> <laughs> With the people that showcase the graphic. I, I can't even read my own fucking script. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> right, start again. You got this, Chris, man. All I gotta do is fucking. <laughs> you can't do that, and you can't give it a dig and then have a break in it. <laughs> Makes you look like a mom. <laughs> there won't be a, there won't be a break in it when I edit. <laughs> um. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm doing, it's going over my head. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh. I, I, not as bad as bad as Chris. Chris, can I bring up what we discussed yesterday with Stimpy? No. And st no, we see can't. what everyone thinks. <laughs> Come on, please. <laughs> I don't want to start this again. <laughs> we all know where it goes. All I heard was you say I'm a ballerina. A ballerina badass. You're a ballerina. Yeah, right. Ballerina badass. <laughs> You're a ballerina. Ballerina badass. So. You're a ballerina. Hey, ballerinas are tough, man. They, they've got to, like, dance and shit. Muscles. Is this, me telling, is this you coming out as ballerina? Yeah, why not? Hey! <laughs> now you're a ballerina badass. <laughs> <laughs> if I could dance as well as a ballerina, I'd be making more money, I think. Shake that ass, <laughs> Joe. Shake that ass. <laughs> Shake that ass. No, gala, gala. <laughs> <laughs> We've been hanging out with... Yeah. Just a service ah, announcement before we go, guys. 